Hello there. Today our first topic is deinterlacing. So before we start, we need to know what interlace really is. Actually, when movie is shot on film, they actually shoot at 24 frames per second. So in film, the camera captures 24 individual images in one second duration. And while projection, we see 24 pictures in one second. But video signals like PAL, NTSC or SECAM are not just uh, frame based, they are field based. Each frame of a movie consists of two fields. Upper field, another one is lower field. Upper field is basically the odd lines. That is 1, 3, 5, 7 and go on. And lower field is basically the even lines. That is 2, 4, 6 and so on. So one field consists of word lines, another consists of even lines. Basically a 30 frames per second interlaced video has 60 fields per second. That is two fields for every frame. Each frame of an image is consists of certain number of horizontal lines. Uh, for example, 1080i has 1080 horizontal lines. Basically, odd number forms an image and even number forms another image. When we combine these two, we get the complete image. So, when we play interlaced video, suppose this one, without separating the fields. So, when we play interlaced video without separating the fields, we will notice that the two fields offset somewhere in time because computer monitor display progressive images and in progressive images or in progressive video all pixels of a frame captured at same time DSLR videos web videos are of this kind so if we are working with interlaced footage so we need to deinterlace it before uploading it on web or playback on monitor so that we can get rid of this kind of combing kind of effect so how to get rid of that one thing you can do just separating the field when you just import this kind of footages in the last footages you will notice after effects automatically check whether it is a uh, interlaced or not if we right click on the footage and go to interpret footage then choose main you will see after effects picks the right field for the footage it's automatically guess it and it is always right so if you choose that kind of thing you will notice if we import this video in the timeline see you can now see there is no edge combing means no edge jagginess in here so by this way we can get rid of this jagginess edges this can be a way you can see the difference okay otherwise one thing we can do if afterwards cannot guess the right one and we are unable to get it so we can choose another way also just choose the footage then go to effect then go to blur and sharpen there we will get reduce interlace flicker choose that one and increase the softness got it by this way also enabling and disable the effect by this way also we can get rid of that edge jagginess or we can reduce the edge jagginess or interlace flicker